Have you ever worked with Azure and realized that, for example, your management tools like your Azure PowerShell module, your Azure CLI, your Git uh, CLI and things of that are out of date or not even installed on your admin machine? So Cloud Shell is a great tool uh, to actually provide you with a management experience. And today we're going to have a look at how you can run Azure Cloud Shell in the Windows terminal. So stay tuned. Azure Cloud Shell is a great tool to manage your Azure resources, right? It's actually a container running inside Azure and we provide you with a web-based UI to access that container. And we already pre-installed all the Azure management tools as well as some other third-party management tools you probably need like Git, uh, Terraform and many, many others. So today we're going to have a look at how you can leverage that and especially how you can use it, how you can use it on your Windows machine. So again, for those who don't know about uh, Azure Cloud Shell, if you want to start Azure Cloud Shell, you go to the Azure portal, you have that button right here, and this will bring up the Azure Cloud Shell experience directly within the portal. Now you can see here, I selected the PowerShell experience, uh, but I can also select, for example, the Bash experience if I wanna work more directly within the, uh, the Azure CLI. Um, since I like PowerShell, I'm gonna just stay here. And this obviously you can see here, it provides me um, with my Azure PowerShell as with my Azure CLI, for example. So I can see here I can run just AC and I get the latest Azure CLI, but we also include third party uh, tools like for example, Git and Terraform and many, many other things um, directly within your Azure Cloud Shell container. And you can spin that up on many, many different machines, right? So you can run that directly in the browser uh, of the machine of your choice. The only thing you need to do is log in with your um, Azure credentials or you can even run it on your phone. So we have a mobile app, which allows you to basically run um, Azure Cloud Shell also in the Azure app. Now, the Azure Cloud Shell also comes with some like persistent storage. So you can see here, if I look at my, what I have stored here, you can see here, I have a couple of folders created, Azure Arc, Azure Monitoring Containers, uh, AC VM run commands. Those are all containers I have created. You can also see I have stored a PowerShell script to enable monitoring. And so I really can customize and store scripts here. However, in some cases, I don't want to run it in the browser, right? Uh, we have this great thing called the Windows Terminal, uh, which I also have installed here on my machine. And this allows me to basically run uh, my traditional um, CLIs or, or shells, like for example, uh, our classic command prompt, which comes with Windows. We can run the Windows PowerShell. We can run the new PowerShell 7. We can also run different Windows subsystem for Linux versions directly within that. And we can also customize it um, to do different functions, like for example, to do SSH shortcut or PowerShell remoting shortcuts. However, one thing I wanna talk about is the integration of Azure Cloud Shell. So the Azure Cloud Shell is natively integrated into the Windows terminal, and you can get the Windows terminal from the Windows store. So it's if you wanna install it, just head out to the Windows store, search for Windows terminal, and there you go. So when I wanna work with the Azure Cloud Shell or in Azure per se, I probably wanna work in my local terminal. So with Azure Cloud Shell, I get a remote connection in, into that. So I open it up and the first time I obviously will need to log in. Um, this will use a device code login. So I just copy that code. I can open up that URL, enter the code select and log in with my Azure account. And now you can actually see that I can close that browser. And if I go back, you will see here, it will list me my tenants. I can choose because my account is in multiple Azure AD tenants. I will select my Microsoft tenant right here. 
And now it asks me if I want to save that login for the future. Yes, I do. And now it requests my Cloud Shell container I just showed you in the browser. It will be the same Cloud Shell container I connected to in the browser, but now displayed in my local terminal. So if I do here, a see uh, clear the screen, and if I list here the files, for example, you will see that I now have the same folders and files I just showed you in the browser also available here. Now I can run, for example, my AC commands, so my Azure CLI commands directly from there. I already have Git installed as well. So I get all these management tools and the management experience within the Windows terminal, which is just great. So I really hope you like what I just showed you uh, with the Azure Cloud Shell integration into the Windows terminal. Again, if you want to install the Windows terminal, head out to the Windows Store. Uh, for Azure Cloud Shell, all you need is basically an Azure account and it will create a Azure storage account to store as a persistent storage in the background uh, when you first time start it up. Uh, and you get all the latest and greatest so I hope this video was helpful and showed you how you can use Azure Cloud Shell within the Windows Terminal and how you with that get your Azure management experience directly on your local machine without installing all the management tools. If you like that video, like it, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.